I came to know the center here almost 20 years ago when my own spiritual director, Sister Judy Rieger, who is Sister of St. Joseph in uh, Rochester, invited me to consider the uh, program here for uh, training spiritual directors. So I went through the process and I met Jim and that was probably 1998. Uh, so I spent that first year uh, learning the skill of spiritual direction. I had been a Benedictine monk for almost 20 years, so I had an experience as a directee, I suppose I would say, by way of my novice master and junior master, all the usual monastic leaders. But it was time for me to do the same for others, and I thought there was a call to listen and to be available pr primarily to students as they were trying to understand their own spirits and their own lives and where God fit into their own hearts and how they fit into God's plans. And some of our students are international students at Cornell and many of them are very fearful because at this point uh, traveling back home to visit family hasn't been possible for some because they may not be able to return into the country. Uh, some have had to let go of their families over these last months and are even uncertain whether they can join them for the big celebrations of their graduation come this spring. So there's a, a great deal more um, t uh, time spent just listening to young people who have enough to do with the academic work than the studies that they're doing, but now they have to be concerned about how they can be with their families or not, how they can return to their homes or not. Engagement here at the center. I've I've done a few programs myself where I've led some discussions on Celtic spirituality. Uh, my training is as a musician, so I have done a couple of evenings where we've uh, engaged in some music making as a way of prayer. Uh, and then apart from that, it's been showing up here month after month after month for decades it feels like, but uh, for direction for myself. I know that if I'm going to be engaged in the work that I'm doing, it's helpful for me to also uh, sit with someone who will listen to my story and help me discern God's place in my life as well.